Welcome to the Python Learn Together, Code Together. Sometimes we don't know how many arguments we are going to pass to the function. That time we can use the arbitrary keyword arguments passing technique or um, arbitrary non-keyworded argument passing technique. In short form they are called as uh, ARGS A -R -G -S, and uh, the other one that is the uh, keyworded arguments that is called as asterisk at asterisk kwargs we will see about this uh, by using our python interpreter okay uh, now i'm going to define one uh, function like um, def and uh, here f of um, okay yeah i will use just the a a of and here i'm going to use asterisk okay asterisk b okay this is my function name uh, instead of a it is a little bit uh, confusing so I'm going to define this as um, uh, f and ct okay this is my function uh, I'm uh, that's the function name and here I'm going to just define asterisk b okay this is the non keyworded argument passing techniques that means actually uh, the inner meaning is that and now here going to pass the uh, list of uh, uh, what's our arguments list of arguments but uh, while defining the function we don't know how many arguments we are going to pass to this function this is not to mean that we are going to pass only the b that's why i used the asterisk b we'll come to understand once we go through this example i'm going i just defined one function define f and ct of star b uh, then here okay yeah and uh, here i'm going to print print b okay uh, we will see uh, what uh, it will uh, give us the result i'll just to uh, print b okay inside this uh, remember the syntax uh, here uh, we are not going to print the value of f and ct but uh, i'm going to print the value of b okay uh, and uh, yeah now i will call like um, uh, f and ct of uh, uh, 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 okay now I'll click enter. You can see it will give us the result 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. When I call F and C of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it gives us the result 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means this is the positional argument we are using. It is not the keyworded arguments. This is non-keyworded argument. That is the positional argument. If I call this as um, uh, f and ct of um, uh, a equals to uh, 10 and um, uh, okay, here I define b. So I, here I'm not going to again call the b. c equals to 30. If I call like this and I will click enter, you can see it is uh, give us the error because the function got an unexpected keyword argument a. So here it is not taking the keyword argument, it is taking the positional argument. And uh, uh, okay, uh, that means here we are, uh, whatever the arguments we are giving to this uh, f and ct uh, is like, uh, it will taking this as a list in uh, B. So uh, we can, uh, at the time when we uh, pass some values to this uh, function, uh, uh, initially while defining we don't know what we are passing so we just use this asterisk mark and b this is uh, simply uh, in uh, python this uh, type is called as um, uh, asterisk args okay arguments okay uh, then uh, another one is like um, uh, f and ct this is uh, with uh, the uh, keyword arguments that means asterisk asterisk kwargs okay uh, this is like fnct or okay and now i need to define on function define um, uh, fnct of 2 okay fnct2 i'm going to name my function as fnct of 2 and here i will use uh, star star and c asterisk asterisk and c and now i'm going to print this uh the value of uh, print and here i'm going to use the c okay now we will check i will call f and ct of uh, uh, okay here 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 as this likes here we call like no same example i'm going to call here 5 and we'll see yeah uh, yeah uh, this is the previous one that means uh, this function i called here the function variable is uh, it is uh, uh, what is that function variable 
uh, df fn city of 2 so here i need to just call fn city of 2 and we will see it will give us the error because fn city of 2 takes zero positional argument but five are given because here since we defined hash rest, hash rest c uh, it will take the arguments uh, through something called dictionaries uh, we will see what's this uh, dictionaries and what it will do in the upcoming videos but for the time being uh, just listen here we need to give uh, for this function that means uh, by using the hash rest, hash rest c we need to give uh, for this kind of function we need to specify the keyword that means uh, uh, calling like this is invalid for this kind of function that means what is that yeah uh, for this kind of function which starts with the hash rest, hash rest. I need to call this as um, a equals to a equals to 1 and uh, b equals to 2 and c equals to 3 and d equals to 4 and e equals to 5 now if i click the enter you can see a equals to 1 b equal to 2 c 3 d 4 and e 5 that means here we must give the keyword arguments henceforth it's uh, that's why it's called as um, uh, kwargs hash rest, hash rest, kwargs that means the keyword arguments here we must give the keyword arguments but um, as in this kind we can see uh, if you use the single star we need to uh, just uh, uh, give us the positional argument here it is not taking the keyword arguments here you can see function got an unexpected keyword argument but here fnct of 2 takes zero positional argument i think you have understand about um, this uh, hash terrace and double hash terrace importance that means the kwar in short form they will call as um, hash terrace hash terrace kwargs and um, hash terrace ARGS that means uh, arguments um, and here uh, this is with the KW means keyword arguments here we need to we should give a equals to one that means keyword we need to give this keyword a equals to b equals to but whereas in this case we can just give us the positional argument like uh, one two three four five directly we can give I think you have understand about the difference between this uh, asterisk asterisk and asterisk thank you